<laughs> Hello, my love, and welcome to this practice, which I call wild sunshine shadow magic. <laughs> so this is a practice that I have adapted that has been inspired by Ashe Sundara, one of my mentors. And I, yeah, I'm sharing with you my version of a practice of hers that has really, really helped me. So I do this every day or nearly every day after my wild sunshine journaling. And I find it so, so helpful. <laughs> so my love, this process of magnetizing and manifesting all that you desire in your life. And as I've mentioned before, desires, our desires are so sacred and they come to us for a reason. We're really meant to walk the path towards receiving our desires because there's so much medicine for us in receiving that desire or on the journey towards receiving that desire. It might take us to our purpose. It might take us to someone that we're meant to meet, maybe our soulmate. But another reason that they're so sacred is this path towards achieving or receiving our desires, a lot of shadow comes up. So what I mean by shadow, some people call it your ego, some people call it your inner critic, your mean girl, the limiting beliefs, the insecurities, the fear, the doubt, the ickiness, the shame the lower vibrational emotions that can arise around your vision or the thing that you're manifesting, they're meant to come up so that you can grow and evolve as a soul, as a person, as a being. And I really want you to start to shift your perspective of life around challenges, so external challenges that happen in your life, as well as internal challenges that come up, like these shadow aspects, as every single time it's an opportunity to grow, to expand, and to upgrade. So I'm not going to say that it's comfortable. <laughs> Challenges and shadow and working through it isn't comfortable. It's sticky. It feels yuck. It's gross. But I do invite you to start to see the perspective of some element of gratitude and know that there's so much growth and so much reward on the other side of integrating this shadow or this challenge. So this practice is about dancing and moving and breathing with these shadows that arise. So I'm going to take you through a little meditation to really bring this shadow up so that we can feel it to release it. A lot of the time, and this is exactly what I did when I first started on my personal development journey, is that any time a negative thought, a judgment, jealousy, comparison, or a negative thought about myself popped up, I would shove it down and be like, no, wrong, bad, can't think that, bad, bad Susie. <laughs> and really, this just gives it more power and it creates separation in your own being. So it actually rejects that part of yourself into your shadow. And that's why it's called your shadow, because it's a rejected aspect of self that you've locked away into this deep, dark corner of your mind, saying that it's bad or wrong. And then you're separated. There's like these two people in your mind, in your being, in your soul. And so the medicine, the practice, the process is in opening that door, letting the shadow come out feeling the ickiness, the discomfort, the shame, the embarrassment that arises ugh, when you give it space, like feeling it in your body. It's not comfortable, but I promise it's powerful. Feeling it, letting it come up, and then we're going to release it through the body. So what I've found when I've done shadow work in the past that doesn't incorporate movement and breath is that I end up being really, really restless and fidgety in my body. And this actually happened just the other day. I did a lot of hypnosis and journaling and, and internal uh, inquisition into a shadow aspect of myself that I'll share with you now. And 
I was lying down in bed uh, after the day had finished when I went to go to sleep and I was so restless. Like my body just could not, could not sleep. Like I was, I, I eventually fell asleep because I was so tired, but I was so uncomfortable in my body. And I really believe that it's because this shadow carries such a charge, a deep, dense, intense energy with it that needs to be released through the body, through shaking, through breath, through movement, and through dance. Like it needs to shift out because it's been dredged up. And then if you don't release it through the body, it has nowhere to go. So that's why in this practice we dance because it's really freaking fun. Yeah. It's really fucking fun to dance. I love dancing (laughs) and we get a bit crazy. We get a bit wild. Make sure you've got um, some cushions because we're going to be bashing them and yeah, just have fun. And eventually you'll make this practice your own. So the first few times you do it, you'll do it with me. I'll guide you through it. There'll be music on. We'll play and dance together. I'll move you through the movements and dances and practices and breath and sound that I like to do in this practice. And then you'll start to make it your own. So you'll use your own music. You'll put on your own music you want to dance to. You'll move however your body wants to move. And you just make it your own. And yeah, I highly encourage you to do this as often as you like every day if you can uh, with your journaling practice and just see the shifts. So let's get started.